First episode of IRS's Animal Planet. On this episode, we have caretaker epilims, contraband camels, misleading meerkats, and pothead penguins. Caretaker epilims. Caretaker epilims have been used for street cleaning in many cultures for thousands of years. What attracts people to the caretaker epilims over the common elephant is their ability to clean up after themselves. They gather up rubbish from the floor and clean the streets, but their main selling point is once they have collected enough rubbish, they then eat it. Their digestive system breaks down anything they eat from loose hay on the floor to worn out car batteries. The waste comes out in cupcake form, so you often see children waiting around behind the epilimps for the tasty treats to pop out of the epilimps anus. Contraband Camels Contraband camels have been used for drug smuggling ever since drugs were invented in 2010. Their humps have hidden compartments which can be used to store contraband while travelling through customs. People are usually so shocked that you have a camel in the airport that they completely forget to check it for drugs. The camel on the right is currently concealing 50 tabs of LSD. Unfortunately for poor Humphrey, the owner forgot to bag up his goods and now Humphrey will be tripping balls for 24 to 48 hours. The Bongwans. Commonly known as penguins, the Jamaican Pongwan is a totally different species. Unlike penguins, Pongwans originate from Jamaica where there is no ice. To control their body temperatures, they often smoke blunt and relax in the swimming pool. Misleading Meerkats. I went to see the Meerkats to see if I could get a cheaper rate on my car insurance. None of them seemed to speak any English. I asked a younger meerkat if I could speak with Alexander Orlov, the owner of CompareTheMeerkat.com, but they didn't seem to know who I was referring to. I think these meerkats must be fake. They didn't talk, they weren't wearing any clothes, and quite frankly, they were very ignorant. 